This is God at his best. Create what you can't see. Was an egg in the nest. Took off as an eagle with a dream. Mind on Yahweh, anything else don't digest right. Sneak your head, the kicks got kicks. You don't want no smoke if you lay not Christ. Icon, icon, that's her in a nutshell. Focused on Christ and it goes well. That's why they still pulling on the coattail. People don't stay long like a hotel. Play the right call like you know well. This her wave that the boat sell. Christ paid her tab, ain't no sale. So I just got done uh, running. And I wanted to um, just kind of share some things. Uh, this is gonna be a very, excuse me, I, I, like I said, I just got the running, so I, I'm really, really sweaty. But I really wanted to make this quick video. Um, it's different than usual, but I really hope that it blesses you um, as it is still ongoing um, in blessing me. Let me preface the conversation with this, because some of y'all, that's the first thing I say. She act like she's the only one. No, that's not what I'm saying. Again, I'm not saying I think I'm the only one that goes through this. I know that I'm not. I know that there are many people who go out there, who are out there, who have went through some of the same similarities as me. However, this is my experience. Cool? Not that I care about that. So here we go. First, let me just ask that you excuse me, uh, for my head because this i'm telling you the only reason that i look like this is because i just got to working out so i don't i don't want y'all to think that i'm hood because i'm not I'm very classy all right i just just got done working out and so that's why i'm like this i gotta give disclaimers because some of y'all be tripping about the wrong T touch your neighbor and say neighbor neighbor you're worried about the wrong thing one of the things I know, here's what I know. I know that um, Jesus Christ came um, in the word wrapped in flesh. Um, I know that he lived on this earth. I know that he was brought here uh, to show us as Christians um, that it is possible um, to live this life, to have a relationship with God. I know that um, he hung, bled, and died for me. I know that he rose, all right? Um, I know um, that he loves me. And I know that through him, I am, that through him and because of him, I am saved. I know all of this. I know all of this. Even though, even though I know all of these things, right? One of the major things that I struggle with the most is whether God likes me. I know that he loves me. But I struggle with whether or not he likes me. Um, and it's because of the things that I've uh, been going through, that I have went through, that I've come out of. Because God is so good. Not if. Because God is so good. Because God is so gracious. Because God is so kind. When you like a person, you don't put them through trauma. Right? You don't put them through traumatic things. Um... But then I'm, I'm always brought back to the scripture that says, shall we only accept the good? Um, so that combats that. Um, I would never know what good is if I wasn't in a situation um, that reflected the opposite. Like if the situation was good, then I would always expect for that to be a normal thing. I wouldn't know to call it good because it would be my norm. But when the situation is hectic or chaotic and not even, maybe it ain't even that extreme. Maybe if um, the situation just isn't favorable, then I would never know what favor really looks like. Um, so that combats that. But I really do struggle with whether or not God likes me. I'm always, and here's why my father was not around ever ever didn't want me wanted nothing to do with me from what I was told um, and so because I didn't have my biological father uh, because I felt like if if the person that you created to to create me along with my mother wanted nothing to do with me then I saw God that way um, then I in my head, I wanted to spend my life 
making sure um, that I uh, made God want me. That's that's how I've 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 tried to live my life since I rededicated my life. Here here's the thing though. And so my mom challenges me often. She always says, you know, you you and I, I expressed this to you all yesterday, how one of my weak weak points in my relationship with Christ is faith. And I know for a lot of people, you all are like, what? That doesn't make any sense, right? Because we're saved by grace through faith. I get that. It makes total complete sense. Um, but I have a hard time believing things when I can't see them. With this whole working out thing, I explained this yesterday. Uh, when the numbers don't reflect the work that I've been putting in, um, then I quit. That's not faith, right? I have to know that on the inside of my body, there are things working um, together for my good. And at some point, um, I will see, I will reap the harvest at some point. But for right now, I got to know that the work that I'm putting in is, is, is working. Right. So on average, um, I get stopped quite a bit, um, throughout the day. Um, my friends are always, you know, talking me up. Um, I get inboxes, text messages, Typically, these people will shower me with compliments, y'all. Shower me with compliments and, and speak into my life and, and prophesy to me. And typically, sometimes, now there are some times when there are no friends present. And I share it with them. And uh, there are most times when my friends or people that I do know are present. And they witness it for themselves. And in true friend fashion, they gas me up. They gassed me up real, real good. and uh, But I frustrate them, and I see the frustration in their face on a serious tip because I don't believe my friends, and I don't believe what these people say to my face. Um, and in my head, it's because I just think that they're just being nice, quite frankly. Just the other night, I was talking with my husband. I was sitting with him right here on these stairs, right there. And um, I was telling him, in true husband fashion, you know, he 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 was telling me, he tells me uh, often, he's like, man, babe, you know, I... I see, I've seen what the Lord does through, through you, your ministry, um, blah, blah, blah. True, true what a husband's supposed to do, right? Uh, blow my head up. Um, yeah, that's, that's right. And so, uh, but I always think he's lying and I never believe him because I feel like he's my husband. He just wants some. <laughs> nah, um, but I, I really, seriously, I think that he's just gassing me up like my friends. Um, and so I told him the other night, I said, you want, you know what, babe? I said, you, you want to know uh, why I don't believe, like why I don't believe y'all and why, you know, what y'all have to say don't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me. And he was like, yeah. I said, because the numbers don't reflect the type of impact that everybody seems to think that I have. Y'all, the Lord gave me this vision for Snickerhead. He gave me this vision. Like, bloop, dropped it in my in my spirit. And I took it and I ran with it. And he's spoken things to me. He sent people who don't know me, who've never seen me a day in their life, to come speak things to me. And um, it doesn't make sense. How am I expected to make a living? off of this vision that you've given to me? How am I expected to bring on, bring in um, some type of income if the numbers are not reflecting the vision that you gave me? It doesn't make sense. Um, if I'm not reaching people, because the numbers would suggest that I'm reaching people. If the numbers aren't there, then that means that I'm not reaching people. And this is what the Lord this is what the Lord 
gave to me. He said, the reason that I'm not seeing the followers, the reason that I'm not seeing the likes, the reason that I'm not seeing the love uh, buttons being pressed, the reason that I'm not seeing the followers, the reason that I'm not seeing um, the subscribers is because of simply faith. By definition, faith is Hebrews 11 and 1. And it says, now faith. It's crazy because the Lord is is revealing this to me live, like in real time. He's meeting me right where I am. And he's giving me, he's, he's showing me and revealing to me and nudging me about faith when it comes to Hebrews 11 and 1. And it says now, not later, not soon, not uh, sometime, now faith. It's the substance of things hoped for. Here's the key, though. The evidence of things not seen. Y'all, this is crazy. It blew my mind. And let me just tell you why. Um, because what I am currently experiencing um, it has God all over it. It has God all over it, man. And I am so, I'm frustrated. You can't tell. I am, I'm frustrated. But I am so, I'm at peace. Because I know that he is literally, he's literally taking me back to the basics and teaching me why I believe faith. He's literally teaching me this. Based off of definition alone, based off of Hebrew 11 and 1, Hebrews 11 and 1 alone, right? We talk about the evidence of things not seen. Um, I don't see all of these things. So I'm going to go down this list and then I'm going to bring it all home. And then and then we're going to be, I'm going to be done. So I may not see the numbers, but I know that God is reaching people. I may not see the numbers but I'm crazy enough to believe, y'all. I'm crazy enough to believe that the Lord will provide. And I may not see the numbers, um, but it is my hope that I will live to see the day um, that, that I actually believe in my heart the things that have been spoken to me, prophesied to me, spoken over me and in me, um, and the and the things that other people um, see. All right, so as far as the sneaker review goes, this is considered the Desert Sand Nike Element 87. Um, listen, the best part of this shoe, aside from just the cosmetic makeup, would have to be the Nike React that's in the sole. It's super comfortable, and the durability is out of this world. Not only is it, like I said, a super attractive shoe, but it helps me get the job done. I'm I'm really just trying to work on my fitness. Excuse my inhaler, players. Need to breathe too. Um, and so that's really all I have for this sneaker review. It's amazing. It's comfortable. Uh, you love it. Uh, make sure you wear some dope socks because you can see through um, this particular shoe. All right, y'all. Help me spread this gospel. This is Sneak Her Head signing off. Good God. Good shoe. I'm out.